My next guest for the uh, past two years, he has been one of the stars of NBC's Saturday Night Live, a very talented actor, impressionist, stand-up comedian, and sports commentator. Please welcome Joe Piscopo. Thank you. Really nice. Nobody sells a song quite the way you do, Joe. <laughs> yeah, uh, I, cu I couldn't resist. When I get around Schaefer, I just go crazy. Now, Schaefer, you, you must have... Oh, get out of here. <laughs> Have you, have you and Paul worked together? We had we worked on Saturday Night Live. He comes in and does uh, several things with us. Up there. And we have such a guest. We're big Frank Sinatra fans, mm -hmm. both of us. We ran across a very obscure album just the other day called uh, Frank Sings Pat Benatar. Yeah. Are we going to hear uh, this? Oh, my goodness. Dedicated to you, man, because you are such a marvelous human being. <laughs> Hit me with your best shot. Hit me with that shot. Uh, Hit me with your best shot. Fire away. I couldn't resist. I'm sorry, dude. It's beautiful. Very nice. Now, you're actually uh, uh, doing an album of uh, Mr. Sinatra. Or, no, that's not right. Tell me, explain what well, I'm Well, we're just doing about. like a single. Uh, uh, Frank sings the rock classics like uh, Born to Run and uh, <laughs> <laughs> Stairway to Heaven. Columbia's doing mm -hmm. it. And <laughs> it'll be out about August, so we're mm -hmm. very excited about now, that. As long as. <laughs> Frank doesn't mind. <laughs> how can you do that? Because uh, uh, you're you're just you're pretending to be Frank. Oh yes. And how well, how does that happen? I, well, I did, I admire him, and I think it's just like an impression, right? <laughs> Nothing offensive. <laughs> but, but you have to get legal clearance and so forth, don't you? I guess I'm leaving that up to the record company, David. Uh, I'm not that involved. I the think former that's where I look yeah. into it legally. Have you ever heard from Frank? Has Frank phoned and said, uh, "I enjoy the impression," or? No, n no. <laughs> Watch me be real diplomatic now, okay? Uh, no, I, I just heard through the grapevine that he really doesn't mind that it, it, it is. Oh, you, oh, no, I want to hear about the grapevine. What was, <laughs> what, tell, tell me about the grapevine where you heard Frank didn't mind. Uh, <laughs> some guy named Jilly came over and said, Frank does not mind, you know? <laughs> so, and, uh, and I'm only kidding, uh, David. Uh, you, you, <laughs> you do, uh, 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 are you an impressionist? A this is a silly question to be asking a performer but you do a lot of different things well, so which of oh, these... Uh... No, I don't know. I, I never did an impression until I did uh, Saturday Night Live, and they asked, you want to do a couple impressions? I said, sure, and I get a real kick out of doing it. You do a lot of them. Yeah. Now, for somebody who just started recently, you yeah, get a whole I, lot. I, honestly, I really do. I don't know how I got thrown into it, but I do have a lot of fun. It's weird, too, coming into the hallway over here. I heard the halls talk saying, good morning, everybody. <laughs> 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 kind of bizarre walking through the halls. <laughs> he loved it. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and of course, John Chancellor. Uh, now, there is one guy I wanted to ask you about because we had him on this program, uh, Andy Rooney, and I know you've done Andy Rooney. Yeah. You know, I, he was on the show and he made fun of my name or whatever. He well, did. it was very odd what he you did. We're not, we're not certain. This is a while back. We had just gotten uh -huh. on the air, and your name, uh, we brought it up about uh -huh. the impression, and he, I don't remember exactly what he said, but it was uh, one of those grapevine deals you were talking about <laughs> earlier. It was so embarrassing because I was right up there, you know, because I just came down from the 17th floor to watch him, and I heard him say that, and I just kind of hid behind an exit sign there, and I caught him as he walked out. And I just had to tell him, you know, I admire his work yeah. and uh, no hard feelings. And he said, you know, Joe, you're really good. <laughs> <laughs> but your writing stinks. <laughs> Thanks, Andy. You know? uh, what, uh, now that the show is uh, not in production, you're going back on the air in the fall, are you working yeah. on uh, uh, other uh, impressions? Uh, yes. Would you like to hear? <laughs> I'm trying to do you. <laughs> I think it'd be so funny if I did you. I think. Uh, <laughs> no, I mean. Uh, I, I, by the way, I admire you. The show's great, and uh, I'm not oh, saying now, that. I'm not setup, saying that for audience applause. But isn't he terrific, ladies and gentlemen? David. 
brilliant. Wait, can I do it? Can I? I'm trying it. We're in the beginning stages. Oh, here. I see. You're, you're Wait, something to do with that? the teeth already? <laughs> uh huh. Wait, here we go. This is a very, very quick. Let's see if I got this. Like, as long as it's not a cheap shot, Joe, we can. <laughs> Is he laughing, Paul? <laughs> well, it's kind of an interesting thing to witness. Um, uh, you're gonna, you can hang around. We're gonna pause. Uh, it's exciting to be here. Uh, win a date night with Peter Tork, isn't it? Am I eligible? Uh, no, it's all sewn up. It's all sewn up. We'll, we'll pause here. We'll uh, carry out the wounded and the dead, and be right back with more of Joe Piscopo. Welcome back. This, of course, is uh, Mr. Joe Piscopo, and our uh, big uh, win a date with Peter Torque has been won, and uh, Esther Pollock from uh, Florida and St. Louis uh, is the proud winner, and they're uh, busy having their date now, and we'll be uh, talking with both of them a little bit later. Uh, one of the uh, characters you do on your program, uh, Saturday Night Live, is uh, that of a sportscaster. Yeah. And this, this man is a... Uh, <laughs> He's One, two, three, four. Thank you very much. <laughs> the, the, the guy that you do is a uh, conglomeration. Yeah, yeah. Of... I like conglomeration. Okay, you, you fine. He's a... okay. Whatever. Yeah. And oh. he, who is in there? Who's you know, involved? I don't, uh, the, the writer that uh, I, I, I wrote it with, this came up with a character with, Barry Blaustein, and I sat down and we just took a, a little bits and pieces from everybody, from Marv Albert across the mm -hmm. hall, uh, maybe a little Cosell. Uh, I, I noticed a lot of Keith Jackson in there. <laughs> you know, the way it just doesn't stop for a second there. <laughs> And it's just, just, we just put them all together. And you must be a, a sports fan yourself. I love sports. I, I, I watch it all the time. You are too. You're a baseball fan, is Yeah, it? I enjoy Yeah, baseball. you play softball at all? I haven't played in a long time since yeah. I stopped a bullet in the leg a couple years ago. <laughs> <laughs> right. I, I love baseball. I love, we play at the Improvisation Club I used to work out at years ago, and we go down to the uh, Central Park, and we think we're good. We walk around real cocky, you know, you get the uniform on, and something comes over you. We're walking around a couple weeks ago, and we get challenged by a Puerto Rican baseball team. And uh, they were so good and so fierce. The name of the team was Las Tratentes de Contos. <laughs> which means if you beat us, we will rip your face off. <laughs> Great thing. I like playing with the Puerto Ricans. I couldn't get used to the hubcaps as bases, though. That guy. Kind of <laughs> <laughs> hey, they. They had. They. Now listen. They had dugout. Oh, they weren't actually dugouts, they were Buick Electras on blocks. <laughs> And we got beat real bad, let me tell you. Yeah, yeah. You know what I love about sports? If you watch the Saturday and Sunday afternoon sports shows, they, they have the, they, the networks cover sports brilliantly, they really do. But boy, some of the shows they just grabbed for, I saw that they had on uh, the strongest guys in the world oh, racing yeah. each other on foot mm -hmm. with refrigerators on their back. <laughs> do you remember that? Grown men with like refrigerators on their backs. <laughs> I couldn't help but think, watching one of these guys going into an appliance store, actually buying a refrigerator. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I'll uh, take that a manor right there. <laughs> Delivery? Hell no. Strap it to my back. I'll run it home. <laughs> Honey, surprise. <laughs> or going on a picnic. Honey, don't forget the cooler. <laughs> hell with the cooler. <laughs> with a whole damn refrigerator. That's my son over there, the one with the toaster on his back. <laughs> Typical network thinking, too. Get guys that look like gorillas, put refrigerators on their backs, and have them race each other. <laughs> Good idea, JB. Next week, we'll put food in the refrigerators and have fat people try to catch them. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, but I enjoy watching them. I'm yeah. there in front of the television. We had one uh, uh, tonight, as a matter of fact. Uh, we had one on. Uh, well, it's difficult to explain. Mr. T was on a show last night. David, if I can interrupt you a second, he, he was bumped from a show, wasn't he? Remember he was yeah. lost with it? Yeah. Who told him? Well, that was a, that was a difficult moment, but he was he was originally in one of those shows that you were talking about. He, he was, was oh, yeah, he was in the uh, the uh, uh, meanest bouncer competition. Oh, I remember that. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. They went and punched something. And said, yeah, they're trying hey, to we'll get it approved face, for the Olympics now, but I don't know that they go. Um, now you you have a, a, a son. I didn't realize you had a, a family. Yeah, little Joey, three and a half years well, old. That's real man. nice. And you live uh, here in the vicinity, New Jersey. Yeah, uh, yeah. I'm should I admit that? Sure. <laughs> sure. New Jersey. Anybody from New Jersey here? Uh, New Jersey. All right. I'll make you feel at home. Hey, all right. Uh, I couldn't resist. I'm sorry. I'm well, only kidding, New Jersey. That takes only care kidding. of Puerto Rico and New Jersey. <laughs> um, we're going to pause. We'll be right back with more of Joe Piscopo. Hi, I'm David Letterman, host of NBC's Late Night. During the commercial breaks, 
why not enjoy some delicious sandwiches, just like we do here in the studio? You'll be glad you did. Thank you. Let me ask you about your uh, biography here. This is the official NBC. As you can see, it's printed right here on the official high-quality like little, bond, little the NBC. there in the corner. I like yeah, that. There it is, right here. The, uh, and it uh, tells a little bit about you, where you're from. Lives in New Jersey with your wife, Nancy, and your young son, Joy, you mentioned. Birthplace, Passaic, so on and so forth. Down here, height. Height, Joe, it says, according to the NBC press department, Joe Piscopo is 5'1", ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> They're five one. Is that uh... I couldn't believe when I saw that. Somebody wrote an article about me and they put the diminutive Mr. <laughs> Piscopo. <laughs> I said, hey, diminutive this, all right. <laughs> uh, diminutive. How is Here uh, Joe, here Joe. Yeah. <laughs> How is your, uh, what is it like to be a father? I mean, I came as a surprise to me because I judged us to be relatively the same age and I don't, yeah. don't have a son. Yeah, it, it, you, don't, you don't expect to, you don't expect, it's so weird. Like, uh, he's three and a half now, so I'm getting used to it. And I go, hey, I'm a father. But when he was first born, it really throws you back. We went through the whole, what's that uh, French method you do, the method of birth? Lamaze. No, 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 this is a new one. No, this is a new one. It's called the Marcel Marceau method of birth. <laughs> it's great. It's where the baby delivers himself by the umbilical cord like this. <laughs> very advanced. Very, very advanced, yeah. and it worked out wonderfully. It's really something. You know what really, really got to me? People were telling me, to this day, they tell me you should have taken pictures of the actual delivery. Go mm. into the living room, take pictures of the baby <clears throat> being born. Now, this to me is probably the most repulsive thing to do. <laughs> right. My wife is struggling to have this baby. I'm supposed to be there with an instamatic saying, Hey, Doc, get by the legs and wave, okay? <laughs> <laughs> it's like, smile, honey! <laughs> Imagine getting a Christmas picture postcard like that. It's, uh, that's disgusting is what that is, David. <laughs> uh, you're, uh, when do things start back up again for you on the, the program? The I, show, I don't, I don't know. Night. I think about September 25th. September 25th. We go back to the end of August and I think September 25th. Uh, good luck with your son and good luck Thank with you, your uh, album and, or your single, I guess. Yeah, we'll do an album after that. When, yeah. when will the single come uh, to about, the American about, consumer? Uh, <laughs> I like the way this guy phrases things, you know? <laughs> about August, the beginning August. of August. Yeah. Terrific. Uh, okay. Thank you very much for being yeah, here. A real pleasure, pleasure meeting you. Nice to be here. Joe Piscopo, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Mr. Joe Piscopo, ladies and gentlemen. Well, let me get my uh, papers sorted out here. Once